Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can create a collaborative crowdsourced tour of locations around the world using Google Earth and Google Classroom. Here I am at google.com slash earth and we can begin by clicking on the launch earth button. This opens up Google Earth right within the Chrome browser. Here I can use a variety of Google Earth tools to do various things, but for this assignment we're going to use the projects tool. So I'm going to click on the projects button on the left hand side. Here I have the option to either open an existing project or create a new one. What I want to do is create a new Google Earth tour which will be saved in my drive and then I can use that allowing students to edit it to create this crowdsourced activity. So we'll begin by clicking on create and create project in Google Drive. The first thing I need to do is give this project a title. So I have some notes saved over here where I can copy some of my information about this project. The example we're going to use is one in which students will be mapping locations of seismic activity around the world. Let me go back and grab my description and add that as well. Perfect. Now, Google Earth has added the ability to add slides within your tour. This means as you're zipping around the Earth from location to location, you can add individual slides that have background images, text, videos, and other content. I want to have a slide to begin this project, so I'm going to click on the New Features option and select Full Screen Slide. And here I have an editor that allows me to add some content. So again, I'm going to go grab some of the content which I've already written. This includes my title, my description, and my background image. Perfect. Now let's preview what this slide will look like. That looks great. All right. So now I'm back at my main area and I can see my title, description, and then I can see my first slide. In order to give an example for students, I'm also going to add the first location so that they can see how it works and what it looks like. So I'll click on New Feature and click on Search to Add Place. And being that this is about seismic activity, let's add a notable volcano. We'll use Mount St. Helens as an example. Google Earth will bring me into Mount St. Helens. And on the right hand side, I have the option to add this location to my project, which I'm going to do. Now I can see that Mount St. Helens shows up as the second stop after my first introduction slide within my tour. I can click on the pencil icon to edit the content that's associated with Mount St. Helens. You'll note that Google has automatically filled in some information, but I want to replace that with my own personal customized information about this spot on the Earth. So I'm going to click on the Replace button. Here I can add a photo, a title, and a customized description. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and preview our presentation. Here's what it will look like. When users get to this spot, they'll zoom in and of course be able to move around and view different areas of the map. And on the right, they'll see my title and my description, as well as the images that I have added. Perfect. Now I'm going to go back to the main screen. And again, here I see my title and description of the activity, my starting slide, and my first location. 
And now what I want to do is post this in Google Classroom so that students can edit it as well. So let's open up a new tab and head over to our classroom. I'm going to go into Classwork and create a new assignment. Okay, now that I've added a title and some instructions for this assignment, I'm going to click on the Add button and go to Google Drive where I can actually add that tour that I was just working on. Here you can see it, and I have added it. Now here's the key. I want to change it so that students can edit this file. You'll note that I could also make a copy for each student so they have their own templated tour that they could work on. But for this example, I want our whole class to collaborate on this one tour, so I'm going to choose Students Can Edit File. Of course, I can give a due date and assign it to specific students and all of the other features that I can normally use within Google Classroom. So I'll click on Assign. And now our students will be able to sign in and access that tour and add their own points. Let's take a quick look at what that will look like. All right, now I'm logged into Google Classroom as a student, and I'm within this assignment that I just posted as the teacher. I can click on the attached Google Earth tour, and it will open it up right within Google Earth. Here, I will see all the content that's already been added, including that initial cover slide and that first point. And now I, as the student, have the ability to edit this further, adding my own locations to the map. Ultimately, an entire class can create a really in-depth tour of the Earth with multiple points and lots of information, which can then be shared with the world. This is a great way to use Google Earth collaboratively as a class and crowdsource the creation of an engaging and instructional tour of the Earth. Thanks for watching.